Hi, what's up? I'm Jemba Jemba. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I'm producing Lou Han's album. Um, my first impression of Lou Han, I think he's a very happy person. Uh, he's bubbly, full of energy. Uh, I think he has, he's a, he's a superstar, basically. He has, he's multi-talented. So I know he's an actor as well as a singer, but he's also a dancer and a soccer player like myself. So, uh, like, I like him a lot. I don't think I have that much in common with him, but I know that he's an amazing person. <laughs> we have a few things in common, I guess. Soccer being one of them. And music. Like, what were some interesting things about working with Luhan on the project? The most interesting thing about working with Luhan is that he's able to perform um, without any practice, uh, pretty much no practice. He's just able to come in and hit the notes uh, that we need him to hit. I also am amazed that he's able to work with so many people surrounding him. And my, and my own impression is that's a very stressful situation, but he's able to handle all that pressure um, with ease. That was the most amazing thing to me. Um, I also like that he was very open to my ideas and suggestions. And uh, creatively, I think that we like mesh together pretty well. And I like, I like his style, and I think it works well with my style. So I think uh, together we're making some music that will not only just be you know, popular in China, but popular around the world. Yeah, so Chinese music, I guess, is, is um, coming from a very traditional background, a lot of love ballads of that nature, uh, music of that nature. So, uh, I've, I've been lucky in my career to have worked with some major artists, uh, Chris Brown, Justin Bieber, Madonna, just to name a few. And I think Lou Han definitely is up there uh, with that caliber of artist. And I would actually compare him to like a just, uh, Justin Timberlake um, because he you know, n was not only a dancer, but an actor and a singer. So I think Luhan is just like, he's a, we call it like a triple threat in America because he can dance, act, and sing. And I think someone like Justin Timberlake is a perfect example of that because uh, he's, he's able to, you know, do so much in different areas of entertainment. And I think Luhan's gonna be around for a long time. Yeah, so I think I would classify this particular album as future R&B um, with some dance elements, some club elements in it. Um, it's definitely very modern sounding. It's actually, you know, more some in some ways more modern sounding than what you would hear in radio around the world. So I'm actually excited to see this kind of push music not only in China but push music around the world just because it's 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 definitely taking cues from what's underground and bringing them to the mainstream. With the team that we've done so far that, you know, it'll just take more elements from what's underground and just bring them into the mainstream. And I think that's just, that's the, that's the key to making successful pop music is, you know, having the melodies and the ballads be very emotional and be something that people can relate to, but then also keeping the drums and the, the sounds very modern so that it sounds, you know, doesn't sound old.